Hello. Anyone here yet? Oh yeah, there's someone here yet. Hi, Yuki. Hello, Felix. Right. So, um, as you have maybe seen, I was kind of feeling in the mood for something more chill late at night kind of thing. Um, but first, I just saw that um, Vault Kid had just sent me back his uh, next version of what I did and um, thought maybe we'll take a quick peek of what he has done. Are you up for that? Are you okay with that? How are you feeling anyways tonight? Are you having a relaxed night? Are you staying at home uh, like a good person? Looks like we have a lot of delay lag again. In any case, let's just um, see what Keno sent me. Uh, it looks like he has. You're being you're being safe and staying home. Yeah, well, that's good to hear. Um, I mean, there's like a plethora of tweets and uh, images and uh, gifs and whatever. But yeah, it's uh, maybe the first time in a long time that we can save humanity by remaining at home. And I think that's funny and also awesome because it, it's a chance to kind of spend time together in the digital world, which is one of my favorite places. So... Um, this is what we have right now from Vault Kit. Not what we're going to work on probably right now, unless I really feel like a super OCD need to dive in in a second. But um, yeah, <clears throat> if you followed the last stream, you kind of know what I sent him. And now we got this. Wow, some bass there. Loving that drop.
All right, all right. What do you guys think? Uh, starting to take some shape, right? Like I, I feel like uh, I kind of like what he's done there. Wasn't feeling super sure about this. I think there was a fill here somewhere that like caught me a little off guard, but I mean, it wasn't too bad. I mean, I guess we could also change that a little bit, maybe. Bass seemed a little on the heavy side for my ears. I don't know. What do you guys think? Did you also feel like that? That bass is sort of coming on a little strong, or am I just bass sensitive now? That that's also okay. Maybe maybe I've um I'm bass vegan. Is there something like? Base abstinent. Base stinent. As you can see, it's late. My brain is already in like silly, stupid mode. Um, well, I don't. I don't know if I am getting the feeling you're. <laughs> You're worried about me. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, there's not much to worry. I mean, I didn't explode when I heard this bass. I just did you did you think is uh you think this was a little like bass heavy, too bass heavy? I mean not mixed or anything yet, not really. I don't know, maybe he also intends it to have like this. I mean, we're in the era of bass music still. Just listen to that part again, maybe. Just to see what that bass is. I mean, he already has an EQ there. like that Yukiko how's that for you I 
mean, I would like to use something like a frequency follow, like the Fab Filter EQ here, but since we're kind of limiting ourselves to stuck plugins, oh, I see. That's that sucks that that doesn't come through the stream. Okay, let's do a comparison. So here. Oh yay, Vault Kid. What's up? We're EQing your bass. <laughs> okay, chat, say hello to Vault Kid. He's the other collaborator on this here becoming masterpiece. So now now I can ask you directly, did you intend for this to be like super overdrivey like like this? Or did you just not have time or a uh, desire to EQ yet? I, I was thinking we could go with something like just slightly softer like this. Yeah, I don't know. Let's. I I actually just before you came in, I said we're probably not gonna work on this track right now. Um, but I wanted to give it a quick listen and let everybody know where we're at with it. Uh, probably do another stream for for continuing this. I'll just leave this in here like that for now, and then uh, I don't know. We can we can tweak around on it later on. Yeah, sure. So let's start something new, shall we? How about... What's really chill? Should we go into sort of like retro synth land or should we go into sort of like serial piano stuff or... I mean, there's so many directions we could take. I'm kind of, I'm kind of tempted also, like I picked up the new, the update for electric sunburst deluxe now from native instruments and i'm sort of like thinking maybe we maybe we try that out like that could be cool um yeah what what do you guys feel like do you want like how chill do you want it today I also haven't really played around much with the scoring bass from Heaviosity yet, but I picked it up. The uh, more like cinematic stuff, I guess. Let me know what, what you feel like. Jazzy, huh? Okay. Hmm. Synthway fish? Analog dreams? Oh, okay, yeah, I guess. You don't know all the libraries I talked about. <laughs> That's okay. Um, why am I not getting sound from my piano here, though? Weird. What's going on? Sorry, I gotta like turn on and off my complete control keyboard. It's sort of, it's a little moody sometimes. Ah, there we go. Oh God, that sounds like a doorbell. <laughs> uh, okay. What? Alex is selling his libraries for a euro? That's sick, man. Um, kind of feel like 
Maybe we should pick one up and play around with that. I guess it's not probably not going to download in time. What ha what does he have? I've never really looked. Oh yeah, that's oh, that's like really sweet of him. It's the kind of thing he would do, I guess. He seems to be like I mean, I never I never really met him in person, I think. But he seems to be a really cool, considerate guy. It's ridiculous that we never met since we lived in Hamburg together for so long. I mean, like in the same city, not together. I don't know. Should we like have a quick look at his site? Are you are you okay with that? If I do like limit it at like ten minutes, okay, or like maybe five. Just like a super quick, super quick look. Um. Got that over here on the screen. Oh, you did. Okay. Well, I've actually I've never really like checked his libraries out for some reason. Um. There we go. All right. So um. What? So what does he have here? Indian rhythms, the everything bundle. Oh yeah, you're right. Wow. Okay, this is a lot of stuff for like twenty bucks. Hmm. Difficult to say no to that. Hmm. What's in here though? Like, do I need any of that? I mean, I <laughs> I already said several times on stream. I have like too many tools and I hardly use most of them. The answer is no. Like, do I need? Hey, final impact. Nice for nice of you to come by. What's this called? You mean having all the tools and not using them? Uh, <laughs> I guess it's called, um, I guess it's called greed. <laughs> Greed, or like, as I call it, the shiny eyes and having some loose cash syndrome. Um, yeah, you <laughs> uh, You mean acquisition, right? <laughs> Library gluttony. Yeah. Aren't we all kind of guilty of that, though? Like, seriously, is any of you like... Actually, and yeah, from what I know, VaultKit, you're like pretty good with that, right? Like you mostly just have the stuff that you like use. I think that's that's my impression of you, at least. I like, I don't know if that's true. So what do we have here? Badass guitars. Can we look at this? Does he have, he apparently has sound previews here, right? Is this even like what is this? Is this like contact? Yeah, okay. Contact driven guitar sample library, 50 quadruple recorded <laughs> electric guitars and riffs. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is, I guess this is what it looks like. Oh, sorting my sample in VST folders once a year. That's a good, like, that's something I should sort of, uh, <laughs> you know, like on New Year's set as my, um, what's it called? Resolution. Thanks. Uh, friend of yours. Oh, this guy. All right. Oh, I know who that is.
Maximilian Neuer. I think I know. I think I have his card here. Maybe I'm. Con I mean, I'm confusing names and people all the time. But I think I may have met him on the soundtrack Cologne or in the, uh, on the GC in Cologne. Could that be the case? Or am I? Maybe I'm mixing it up with someone else. Just the name looked familiar at first. I guess he has a video here. Let's see what what. Oh no, this is just a playlist of the sounds. Okay, I mean this is like nice and stuff but i guess i wouldn't really need that glass particles in the drum infinitar okay this is another guitar thing probably right like this is sort of like a what does that sound like <laughs> Okay, so a lot of guitar stuff here. Osmium clouds. Okay, okay. I mean, it's definitely pretty cool that he does this. Do, do you know, like, does he have, like, is this for some sort of good cause or something other than for us not to get bored while we stay at home i mean someone like does something like there's clearly a lot of work in this so uh i don't know like i probably don't need it but if i can find a moral reason why i should get it then <laughs> maybe i would but maybe that's also just only like yeah I think I'm just looking for reasons to justify buying <laughs> uh trailer djembe. Okay, interesting. Um This is actually interesting. What is this? Oh wow, okay, there is like a whole stream by him. I don't want to stream his stream now. Can we have a preview of this? cool sound yeah this is definitely something i should keep in mind like i think i'm gonna like maybe shoot out a couple of tweets or something about this because it's like it's like a lot of cool sounds and stuff especially also like for people that are just starting out and so on like I think it's really cool that he does this. Um, but I'm not going to pick it up right now. Like that doesn't seem to doesn't seem to make sense. Um I do, I don't know what I would do with it. I mean some very cool instruments maybe I don't know. Maybe I'll ask him about it first. Maybe we can do some sort of thing like um you know, like play a game and have it as the price or something i don't know open to that i guess it that no that would suck like maybe i'll buy a couple of copies and then we use it as prices or something like that i, I don't want him to like stuff for free if he already gives them away for a euro um i don't know i'm just sort of thinking out loud right now but yeah thanks for the tip uh, that's definitely really cool to know that he does that um, I guess a lot of people are doing all kinds of stuff now to get this uh, time, um, to make this time a little more easy to enjoy, I guess. I think it's a good approach to say, uh, to think of this something that will enjoy rather than get over with or like endure. I don't like enduring very much. Hello, it's Christmas. <laughs> um, right, so you say you said like uh, synthwave and uh, Felix. You said jazzy. Can we combine that? I guess. I mean, they're not so far from each other. Had this project from last time that 
with the vocoder. I mean, that was more funky than jazzy, I guess. Um, all right, and then you said you didn't really know what all the libraries were that I that I had mentioned, right? Jazz wave, oh, yeah, like how do we make jazz wave? Um, so just to show you really quickly, so the libraries I mentioned earlier is, um, so I picked up, hold on, I think I just scrolled past it, no. Right, so here in this electric sunburst, this is new, like the deluxe upgrade, and they've done something like a, ah, oh, there, it now has a melody instrument, which means it doesn't just allow you to play patterns and stuff, uh, but to actually perform melodies as well. It's a, it's actually really cool as an upgrade, just to give you like an idea of, of the, it's like all of the session guitarists kind of things. Um, and so the idea is basically you have these different strumming patterns and then you play a chord and then it uh, plays the pattern for you. Right, and so, and then I have the key switches over here and I could like play around with the pattern and it's ha it has a pretty smart, cool algorithm for um, figuring out when I switch chords um, so that you can play it relatively freely and there's some cool voicing options and so on. So um, that's basically what it's like. Okay, that wasn't so clean. Seems some sort of like have a little bit of lag right now. Is my is my oh is my Ableton running? In the, yes. Okay, so it syncs with um with the tempo of your DAW if you don't turn that off, which uh, playback. Yeah, here, sync to host. So you need to be always on the one. And if the loop has like four bars, for example, and if you start in the middle, it will start in the middle of the loop and automatically sync to that. Um, so now that we stopped the playback, it should actually work cleanly. Okay. I guess if I switch super uncleanly, it just does it. And I mean, I like that about the library. It doesn't force me to be like a super robotic player or something, but I kind of like it. So yeah, that's uh, that's Electric Sunburst Deluxe. And I guess the Deluxe feature is that I can switch away from this chord mode now with this melody instrument and actually play solo lines on top of it. And uh, there's some sort of mechanism in which it like switches back and forth. It's kind of cool, but I haven't like really dug into it yet. So that's what that is. Yeah, it does sound really good. I know that I feel like that about all these uh session guitarist libraries which is why i can never resist picking them up um and something i really like that um also picked up is this picked acoustic because it has that same feature and sometimes i don't necessarily want electric guitar sound and again this one like to me it just sounds so good it has a lots of like you know bells and whistles on top you can like kind of design your own picking and so on and so forth and just lots of customization options but mainly i just think it's a cool a cool um tool 
it allows a lot of freedom and it makes certain things uh, a little easier, a little faster. Um, I kind of like that. Again, like I think in a previous stream at some point, someone said like, isn't this like easy mode? And I'm like, yeah, I mean, I guess it is. But why should creating cool music be hard? Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't really see it that way. That doesn't sound so picked. Interesting that I got a strum pattern here and picked acoustic. I mean, I guess possible. But it's not what I wanted to show you. And like, what's cool is if you, I don't know if you can see on the screen what I'm playing more or less, that if I switch away from a triad, or even if I go to like an extended chord, it actually sort of walks with me. So now this is just a major triad. So now I'm lifting up the C. So it kind of picks a little bit for you, depending on what you play. I wasn't actually playing what it showed on the screen. I was uh, just like, for example, now I'm just playing C major. And now I'm playing C major with uh, a root in the bass. So it's really, it's really fun to play with. Um, but yeah, in, in enough of that. Um, and what was the other thing that I said? Um, Sunburst Deluxe and, oh yeah, right here. Um, so I love the whole like vocalese, the, the gravity packs of, uh, from, from, um, Heaviosity. And recently they put out going going bass. Excuse me. Um and this thing just sounds crazy cool. Um so this is all like very cinematic stuff. Um I guess we have like playable bases here, which I haven't actually checked out. Um all right, okay, so this is basically just the bass. And then, yeah, we have a bunch of different ones here. Oh, look, we have like a, what a wet one. That's great. But that's not why I like it. Why I like it is these other things like the rhythmic pedals and so on. Um, so basically, has like a whole set of kind of recorded, um, yeah, bass pedals for you to explore. So they're almost pre-recorded loops, but within the gravity engine, which I really like. And they're all tempo synced and set up with the usual uh, filter and motion controls and the TF uh, TFX. And as some of you know, I kind of like inspiration starters like this.
So it's a like cool thing to kind of get ideas flowing. And that's why I like it. And um, the bass complements the scoring guitars really well. And the scoring guitars are a little more extended, I feel like the like the bass pack is, but I mean, it's also easier to do that with guitars, I guess. Um, yeah, and they have like, you see like there's drones and ambient bats and so on. And the performance palette kind of gives you like a good idea. So if we go with some phrases here, they sound kind of like this. Sometimes what I like to do um, I like to do is I like to uh, kind of loop around with them and use them a little bit like a loop pedal, which works sort of. You know that kind of thing i mean that wasn't bombastic but whatever that's kind of why i like them so i figured we could play with that but you've already said jazz wave so we're gonna go for jazz wave um and if we're gonna go for jazz wave i'm gonna probably do that my favorite easy jamming tool is aid um so yeah if you have any more questions about arcade i know i had used it a whole bunch already on like uh couple of streams ago but hey i like in the mood for some easy jams and oh my head did enough stuff today already so it seems like there's a bunch of new um patterns out again that's always the case like whenever i open arcade i feel like they've made so much new stuff that uh yeah hard to keep up so synths right we wanted to start with synths correct yes no i'll take that as a yes um so synth wave um, let's just see what what are these like um no sunrise that's promising <laughs> definitely synthy okay not maybe not what we want Ah, maybe more like it. It's, I could hear something jazzy from that. Uh, yeah, yeah, they do. Uh, actually, um, yeah, like I, I, I think that stream wasn't saved, so you can't have seen it. Um, and I haven't, I haven't. Oh yeah, right. So I mean to upload all my streams to YouTube so that they're like available. But uh, yeah, I went over this a couple of streams ago. They upload stuff to it really, really regularly, and uh, there's so much sounds in there. And I, I kind of feel like it's more than a sampler. 
it's more like a sampler slash loop player slash uh effect box performance set it i don't know it's it's a weird thing arcade but i really like it um like a super big fan of it um and it goes in lots of my tracks but yeah they they literally add stuff every week or so i feel and not tons of it but like consistently and yes that's right it's a monthly subscription of like i think 10 bucks or so uh, I think the only thing is that when you stop subscribing, you actually lose it. Um, I was kind of curious what they were going to do with it. So I, I've been subscribed for, I think, nearly a year now. And well, so far, I'm not having any regrets. Dream state. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see if we find a jazzy one. This sounds promising. Let's check that out. Um, I think A minor would be fine. Let's see what we have in here. I think we're a little too fast, probably. We shouldn't be like at 120. Maybe let's go for like 85. That's nice. Okay, this is very sort of wave. That's more the like wave rhythm, right? Like. Okay, and we've got some chords here. And then we need to get a jazzy after maybe like i could if you if we combine these we we're already in synth wave land kind of do we have here do they work together actually it's like okay, let's try all three That's almost like instant noodles. Um, and then we got a lead or high pad right there. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> see, that's the addictive thing about this. It's almost like too easy. Instant noodles. Yeah, it's like it's like it's just add water. Only instead of water, you add fingers, and you got a song. <laughs> like, I mean, like now I'm just literally like smashing my hand on the keyboard and I got this. I 
I mean, that's pretty cool. That, like I said, it, it does feel a little like easy mode, but um, it doesn't have to be hard. Let's see what else we got in here. Okay, that feels tonally like it wouldn't necessarily match. So let's just see if we can get that with the bass and the higher chords or the lower chords. That totally matches. What if we pair that with the fir first bass? Are you on board for this sound? Like before I get too deep into it, are you are you liking this? Is this cool? Or are you should we go ahead with this? Does it satisfy your synth wavy needs? <laughs> yeah, well we'll we'll take care of the jazz eventually. We're gonna try to jazz it up. Oh man, I I just love the sound of these retrosynths. What we got? Um, we well, I guess we were kind of jamming, but we sort of got something in this direction here. Maybe not quite so rich, like maybe more like, hmm, I don't know, starting, maybe starting this way. Maybe just starting with the bass and the pad, uh, the chords.
Ah, it's so hard to without a click to get the timing right. Um, <laughs> looks like cheating. <laughs> yeah, well, can you cheat in this? Like, I mean, we're just, um, uh, we're just, uh, we're just jamming around. I mean, um, <laughs> I totally know what you mean. It is really fun to play, however, and my counter argument is if, if I can go on splice and just put a track together from loops, then I feel like playing them live and manipulating them within this little thing, it's uh, less cheating than that. Um, but actually, no, I think working with loops isn't cheating at all either. So um, to go with this, I mean, it definitely need, like, there needs to be like some drums, right? Like and like stuff to be things happening. Um, let's maybe let's just put something simple down so we can kind of expand from from there on. Um, so yeah, sure. Which chords do you like better for start? These like plush ones or these higher ones? Do I always start with an empty template? Um, yeah, for arcade sessions like this, definitely, um, because it's just, I like it from scratch and do things as I go. Um, for other projects, I don't start with an empty template. But yeah, I'm, I'm sort of stepped away a little bit from the perfectionism of um, making it more effective through templates. Um, although there are certainly points where I want templates and stuff, but um, I don't know. It's like sometimes I found myself sort of then having to change my template because it wasn't set up exactly for what I wanted. And for a time I had sort of a master template. I still do in Cubase, but in Ableton, um, I don't know, somehow it makes me do things differently if I have to build it from scratch and I don't fall into the risk of doing things the same always just because it's already set up that way so like if i have for example a effects chain on my guitar input that is standard i will sort of default to that sound and it will be like good enough um but if i have to like uh, open guitar rig every time and drag it on and find the preset i want or something sure that can be a hassle if you want to get something down quickly but on the other hand it makes me consider more stuff that i otherwise wouldn't consider that makes sense it's a it's a kind of hate love thing like sometimes this way sometimes that way i kind of kind of decide <laughs> in the moment whether i want to just like so it's like for example i have a template where i just have several guitars uh guitar lines hooked up when i know i want to work with guitar looping and i know i i'm gonna use these and these sounds for sure then i just load the template uh for orchestral stuff as well and um, that's kind of like for getting work done. But if I want to be in the super creative mode, then yeah, I kind of like a blank page sometimes. It 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 depends a little, but yeah, sometimes I for arcade, for example, I really like that because I know I'm just gonna duplicate arcade for a while, and then depending on what comes out of that, um, who knows what's gonna go into it in the end. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Like if you get to the mixing stage and so on, then yeah, certain things you kind of always set up. And um, I could definitely see the point of having templates for that kind of thing. Um, I guess I'm also just always experimenting. Like I've had that for a while. And like I said, for certain types of projects, I still have templates. Um, but yeah, it's, 
I don't know. There's there's no one fits all kind of solution. So for streams also, I kind of like not having a template because sometimes it's cool for people to see what I do to get a certain sound, um, especially when it comes to like effects and stuff. And I really like, uh, I mean, I have way too many plugins, like I said, and sometimes I will, instead of using what I always use, just explore another plugin and sometimes i end up with a completely different sound than i wanted to but that could be fun especially on stream i kind of like this auditory vibe but yeah it makes sense what you're saying like for the things that you find yourself setting up over and over sure save it as a plugin or save it as a user default chain which is also like at least enabled and that's really useful that you can do it so i'm thinking to start with this and then like just with the bass, uh, no, with this bass, these pads, and then bring this in on the second round. Yeah, right? Th there are certain things though, in which it's like, I'm developing more and more of a love-hate relationship with Ableton as well, because I really like certain things about Cubase and I really hate certain things about Cubase and I really like certain things about Ableton and I really hate certain things about Ableton. <laughs> And I wish they would sort of, you know, do 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 the love thing and make a child together. <laughs> you have like all the good things. I guess probably everyone feels that way. And if that would happen, there would, again, like 10% would be happy and everybody else would be unhappy because they love the feature that got cut out that I hate or whatever. Like, Okay. So let's put something down. Enough yapping. No, no. I, I mean, I love chatting with you guys, but let's do both at the same time. You mean like ignorance is bliss basically like you just don't know that other DAWs can do the stuff that you hate about your DAW and then you don't hate it because you don't know there's something better out there I guess that's a way space motion that's so cool that you're here uh sorry why that you didn't get a notification that that sucks i think i tweeted it and put it out on facebook so um that's kind of my workaround because i know twitter uh twitch notifications don't always go out um i have that also with some some people i watch so yeah um what works usually for me is tweeting i guess um or facebook whatever is easiest for you um I usually give a little warm up time for the stream to start, like with a track or two. <laughs> what? Which? <do> <laughs> Oh, I had no idea there was a virtual birthday party. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. I also missed that. <laughs> okay, yeah, I mean, yeah, obviously uh, you can save templates everywhere, but... Um, I mean, I don't actually, I don't know. Like there's a lot of DOS out there, out there that I've, I've never used and I don't know, uh, but I assume you can, you know, right. That would, that would make sense. Like,
Who has the next birthday? I don't know, guys. Mine is August 30th. That's still a ways to go. What? Really? Oh, <laughs> lol. we never talked about that. You're like a day after me. That's hilarious. <laughs> Right, okay, so you're July 30th, all right. And you're in November, all right, <laughs> so. Yeah, okay, we're, we're not, oh yeah, two. Oh, I see. Yeah, we're all not in the near future, so I, I guess we'll have to wait a little bit. Okay, so this will just kind of keep running. Um, oh yeah, right, you're in June, Felix. So you're you're first. <laughs> I want my birthday to be August thirty second. <laughs> <laughs> you hope <laughs> you hope quarantine is over by then um oh i don't know man i wouldn't necessarily bet on that but i certainly hope so i mean that would be a long time to for this to keep going but it could happen i mean well let's not let's not get into that but so a very very dark sector um Okay, so we, we're operating on like on like eight bar loops here. Do I see that right? Like Oh hold on, what's going on here? Oh god, that sounds horrible. <laughs> uh I haven't checked out um Half-Life Alex yet. I, I might actually not check it out against uh yes, everyone can like rage on. But like <laughs> um I'm not super excited about it yet. But uh our world and theirs, I, I think there should be a little bit of difference. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you, Yukiko. That's uh, exactly right.
Oh, that would be cool if this is actually a, uh, a double loop. It's not a double, too bad. Hmm, which one to follow with? you created a game audio discord that's great okay, this feels a little empty I mean, I guess you had to go it, um, go and do it in German. Did you did you create the uh, um, the Discord out of the meetup? Does the meetup still run? By the way, I've been gone for so long, I have no idea. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, that's cool. I'm so happy to hear that something is still left of that initial thing that I started there. Like that's that's kind of what I hoped for when I left that you guys would sort of keep something going. So I'm really happy to hear that. How how active is the Discord? <laughs> yep oh that sucks that the first one got like cancelled yeah um well i can sing songs about the difficulties of running um community things there you know <laughs> yeah yeah sorry to hear that that hasn't changed but um if the discord is active uh that might be cool like you know it might be a cool alternative we even do like online hangouts or stuff like that sometimes especially now that we can't that no one can meet in person it sort of bridges the idea of um at the the obstacle of distance i kind of wonder like um you know, like I find in lots of these communities and discords that I've like sort of checked out, there was not exactly the like friendly mentality that we had at some of our meetups. Yeah, I guess we could do remote meetups. I mean, you know, all jump in a discord voice channel or whatever. If 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 where the warcraft guilds can hang out with 30 people in a team speak chat then we can hang out with however many we can like get to be interested in game audio and like chat with each other in a discord room or in a video chat So we need some drums now. 
what do we use for since this was your idea of old kit um what's a good library for synthy drums polyplex maybe just use samples i guess do i not maybe i have like a synth wavy kind of drum loop uh, i guess i have all these um expansions from native also maybe they have like oh yeah that that's true that could work Do I have the TR77? Like, do you mean a, in the like, that in the retro machines? I guess that works too. Let's have a look. I mean, I guess we still need to make a jazzy also, um, but one thing at a time. Uh, oh. Jazz drums. <laughs> yeah, I guess we, I mean, we could. Let's see if we can find anything that is jazzy and that is in what, 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 what do we have here? A minor, A minor that we can like mix into this somehow. So great digging, where are my loops? Where's my loop folder again? Jazz. Oh God, I don't think that's ever going to work, but but what is it like just out of curiosity what's it like put a like jazz drum loop under this oh i don't think so <laughs> What if we use like high speed one and we like we like make it slower? This one could almost work. Oh yeah, or we use like a jazz break. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> these are all, these are all major. Uh, guys, help me out. What, what's the relative major of A minor?
that note. Oh yeah. Beat. Oh no, A minor. It's C major. Yeah, yeah. I, it's like I was sleeping, I guess, already. Well, it's there. So. You try, like, <laughs> jazz guitaring it. Oh, that almost works with, like, a lot of echo or something. like so open we could possibly pull that off Except the last one. Oh yeah, jazz flute, great. Okay, how do we get jazz in here now? Uh... <laughs> okay, th this could work, this could work. Hold on, like just, just hold on. Um, we just need some, um... We need some uh, black hole on that. Who? Who's Ron Burgundy? <laughs> Winnie two twenty twenty we make yeah absolutely. <laughs> yep, it is it is the Winnie two twenty twenty remake. So let's find some more of that. Why not? Oh really? Like does that can we pull that off? That would that would be hilarious. We pulled this down at all now. <laughs> ah, it's hilarious. Uh we need to pull these down a little bit.
But then we're stuck with that one flute melody. <laughs> or, or that now, now it's getting really <laughs> how does that actually work yeah i, I know we, yeah, we could resemble it too uh this is hilarious um That's not what I wanted to do. Can we like phrase that and like this this is this this is the second phrase repeated? I don't know, like if this like a pitch bent up in the end, for example, maybe like. Where's my envelope? Oh, there. We need to do the full like 24, right? Oh, you gotta go? All right, fine, fine. See you later, man. Here, right and so on. Can we pull this off though, or is this just like... <laughs> yeah, thanks. We'll do our best, otherwise the... Spirits of the old Indians will haunt us. is fun and all but i'm not i'm not convinced um to be honest i want drums here first so how about how about go back some actual drums that will kind of fit in this in this whole thing um see if we got something sort of wave uh synth um okay, it's a bit maybe a little too uh too dirty. Maybe a little too
Mm. I mean, we guess we could try something R&B based just or like jazz hip hop based just for the sense of like getting that getting that requested jazz vibe in. Yeah, I would have to take I don't know. I I think this is more like this is more like a joke. I I don't think we're leaving this. I mean, unless you like insist that we have to have jazz flute in this piece, but I, I I'm not I'm not convinced. Maybe I Oh no, that's just talk box. Okay, we don't that. Uh That that's pure jazz hip hop. Um, I don't know. Your bass beat on this? I don't know. Slow it down. Does that would that work? I don't think so. Right? We need like super straight. You're not fond of flutes. That's okay then. <laughs> I'm relieved. I mean, the idea is funny. We should maybe keep it in mind for some other some other time. Make like a side safe of it. Okay, that's very drum and B. Uh, very very R and B. Um, drum and B. What is drum and B? Okay, it's even more. <laughs> Urban funk. I mean, that's almost jazz. Ooh, could something like that work, maybe? Oh, I guess um, maybe we take the black hole off that. Do you like like a sort of more broken up beat like this on this or do you want the actual classic kind of kick snare straightness i mean alternatively Right, I mean that's not the right sound set, but it's the the kind of vibe. I mean, I guess we could also try and see if we want to i've never i've never really tried that much but we could try and like make the drums with arcade as well maybe that's fun see they do have a bunch of like drum stuff um dup, 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 dup. what no that's not what i want Box. <laughs> Bring some piano, maybe some synth. Whoever needed drums, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of. I mean, I like drums. Um, kind of do like drums. So, in general, not this track. What like? <laughs> no, no. I mean, there, there. Like in general, there is a lot of music that could do without drums. But um, track calls for, I think, because if since way, uh, since. I don't know. I could listen to it like 
without probably also. Hmm. Seems like I don't have any of these loaded yet. Am I actively loading stuff? How can that be? That, that, that's not right. Oh, what? There we go. Br briefly, briefly uh, shocked, scared. Okay, that's no, that's not what we're looking for. Hmm, maybe. Hmm. I mean, these are some interesting drum sounds, but... Not exactly what we're looking for, right? Like... see if there is like more drum stuff in here no. crash drums maybe not not for this right session warped beat elements percussion after hour modular mm. i guess maybe there's some like we could some sort of like find some drums in here That's also more f more funk and soul than like mm, 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 mm. breaks. Nah. Let's see what's in here. Or is this actually like... Octopus. Well, we did want jazz. Okay, but this seems to be um, seems to be all real drum kits. That's not really what we want. As much as I like that. Maybe you go back to the TR-707.
you said there is one in the Ableton library, right? But let's see what we have here. Okay. I add it. Okay, that's maybe not what we're going for. What did you mean, VaultKit? Where where did you mean I could find that? Just 707. I wasn't searching in my loop folder though, I was searching in my instruments. Instruments? Oh, we got some samples here, but I mean, it would be nice if I can just get them at least as like a rack. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. Well, I guess we can do that. Okay, so now we got that done. Ooh, cowbell. No, no, we're not gonna go there. Hmm, I like this other kick too. Do you like the other kick better? as opposed to the first one. Right? I think so too. Eighty five gated snare. <laughs> okay. Hmm. That would be like a detail I put in in the or should we just like a standard gate on for now? Let's see. Mm hmm. Mm 
Mm -hmm. What? No, not there. On the snare. Oh, but which snare are we using? Are we using this snare now? Or are we using this snare? I guess the more damp one is nicer, right? B. Um, where is it? There. Oh, that's true. I forgot the reverb. Reverb. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you want just like a drum room kind of reverb or did you want like the big, the big, big reverbs? Later Hall, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 not even in the slightest a synth wave eighties pop expert. I I'm just following your instructions right now. I have officially no idea what i'm doing here but we have ears so just let's just get it to where we want it sound wise Ears are definitely OP. Echo, well, I guess so. But how do you want the gate to like? work like do you want it to gate harshly then 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 we just um i mean then we have this
like this maybe. But no, I'm not gonna remove it all. Like, or just, I mean, just made this. Why? I mean, I mean, sure, maybe I will remove it all in the end. But why not? Why not? We could just make this. Like, go with it. <laughs> oh hey, thanks for coming by, space, mo uh, space, space motion. Can I just call? I can just say Andre, right? Like, I mean, <laughs> it was good to see you digitally and uh come by next time i guess i mean um it's just space <laughs> uh well but isn't just space basically just empty space like isn't that just wait, I, sorry. too late it's too late it's too late i'm sorry i make horrible jokes when it's late <laughs> um yeah it was awesome that you stopped by, man. Thanks. And uh, I hope you come by next time. I hope this whole notification thing works out. If you're not on Twitter and you're hardly ever on Facebook, um, I won't make any promises, but I will try to, like, maybe write you quickly um, on Messenger. Oh, you posted the Discord link. You mean I should post it there? I don't want to, like, I don't want to abuse this, man. Like, it's good if you have a community thing going, so... Um, yeah, I don't necessarily want to just be on the Discord there and then always post my thing when I go live. I'm opening Discord. Just, just so you're happy, all right? I joined. Um, let's see, where, where, where is it? B A M H. All right. Oh, I see. You were already in night mode. Um, yeah. Well, I guess I mean, happens. That happens. Um, so you say I should basically just ping you on Discord. I mean, sure, I can. I could try. I could try remembering that. Am I? Am I actually like? I'll just. I'll just friend you on Discord. Whenever everything breaks i can reach you there if that if that works well for you okay next time you'll see it all right okay well it's good because i'll probably forget anyways oh thank you um but I, but i will make an effort i will like uh, i will try to let you know because i'm i'm happy when you guys come and hang out uh with me even if we're making um easy mode Synthwave music. So uh, yeah, let's let, let where where we do where do we go with this now? Like um, we've got this. I mean, I feel like the drums don't really sit in there yet. Verbally, 
needs a little bit of compression, right? Um, what kick would you? Oh, we. <laughs> ah i see so you have already experienced uh this trap of uh, this trap of synth wave loops and you have male malevolently let me into it yeah. i see this was your um agenda all along obviously <laughs> It's a trap. a little too harsh right like snare is excessive would you just <laughs> would you would you say we just uh we just destroyed the aesthetic appeal of what we've created by throwing the skated snare on i mean we could just we could just do this <laughs> it's better <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm actually I'm also a fan of the clean the clean synth drum sound, but um I don't I mean I don't want to hurt Vault Kid's feelings. <laughs> um let's let's do an AB. I don't I don't think you did. Yeah, how about we try that? How we how about we actually um put some reverb on the drums? but like completely and not um not just on the snare let's see how that goes over ooh we could use a this is not the co-op track we could use a nice we could use a nice reverb we could use we could use what could we use? Um, mm -hmm. We could use. Put a stereo room on it. We could use. Mm, use ultra reverb. Ultra reverb is cool. Do 
you guys know about Ultra Reverb, it's like the bomb. So I really like it. It's a great, it's a great reverb. Um, what do we set? You maybe just like a little bit of a room, right? Like. But like way less, way less mix, of course. Um, my, is my mix? Oh yeah. You guys think of that I mean turn it down a little bit all oh, right you wanted to high pass that right high pass it Let's use this one. Could shift it a little bit. like this is without guys think like does this does this sit good in the mix for your like in your taste
Sorry, that was a little abrupt, right? I think we're going to do a chord shift here. Do those. But first, we're going to do like a little empty section. Or maybe we get to use the other the other base. Oh, hey, okay. Take care, Vault Kid. Um, super cool that you tuned in. Thanks. Uh, also, I'm going to definitely work on that call up track a little more uh, probably tomorrow, and then I'll tag you uh, once, once I'm done with my part. If I stream it, I'll shoot you a message or something. And uh, yeah, have a good night. Thanks for tuning in. Super glad you liked it also. Like, I, I think this is super fun, even though I'm new to streaming. I think it's super fun to hang out with you guys and just kind of noodle around in Ableton a little bit. Great, I didn't turn off the loop. Instant noodling around, exactly. That's our break. I want this louder though. So we're gonna do that. Um but we're not gonna we're gonna just add for the one one full section. And then we're gonna return over here, but with this chord set. And I actually wanted the wanted the snare in here rather than the kick. Maybe only on the second one. I mean, how how dare in synthwave we could actually use the other drum elements also. Yeah, and I also want the second uh, pads a little lower. 
So do that. I don't know. Maybe we do something else with the drums here. Not, f I'm not feeling that at all. With the snare, what do we have? All right, we could use the cowbell. I guess we have to do some tom fills at at some point. Uh, probably at least here in the end, like. All the toms. Yeah, but maybe not. Maybe not quite so much. Right? Something like that? Is that cliche enough for this? <laughs> For this track. Actually, like, oh, maybe. Oh, here is a rim shot. Why, why, why not rim shot? I don't really like subtle rim shot. Shift them over one too far. Too too far. Ah. Hmm. 
maybe the rim shots aren't a good idea. <laughs> Uh, in any case, we I, I'm gonna I'm gonna save this uh, just so you know no potential crashes or whatever erase this masterpiece of of streaming music. Um, we're gonna take a quick bathroom break. I'll be right back. Maybe you come up with a cool name then post it in the chat. So um, I will be back in a minute. And we're back. So, uh, wow, so many suggestions for. Thanks, Yuki. <laughs> uh, for names, what are we? What are we calling this? Mm -mm. Let's call it. Let's call it. We just need a working title. I mean, it's not a finished song yet. Um. Uh, I'm not good at this. <laughs> if you knew all the working titles. Synth wave working title. <laughs> okay. Um where's my where's my project folder? Where's my project folder not here? There we go. I guess I need a new folder for the things that I write while I'm streaming. Um I will call this stream synth wave 
instant. Streaming Synthwave Instant Noodle. There we go. That's our title now. Okay, uh, so wh where, where are we at here? What do we have? It's a little abrupt. And that sucks. Or we could go with this one. Maybe. See how that sounds. I can get those in here. Kind of works. Kind of works. Maybe 
Maybe it'll change later. So now we've got two started tracks from streams. I don't know. Um, I'm tempted to keep working on this, but at the same time, I also am getting pretty tired. What are you guys saying? Call it like a night here for, for the moment at least. How about we like freshen up our ears and kind of look at what the last streaming track was like. What slight head damage. Oh, it's going to take a second. Okay, so just, just, you know, as a quick reminder, so we don't forget the things we're working on. I mean, I always work on like, I don't know, bajillion projects at the same time, but uh, I like to sometimes sort of clean out my ears of the stuff that we've been doing for the last two hours by listening to another project. So this is what we built there. I guess that's not the most coherent transition. Guitar kind of comes out of nowhere. Without the keys, it's really its own track. Okay, well, I'm not sure where this is gonna go eventually, but um, yeah, it was fun to kind of dig it out and listen to it for a second. All right, so. Um, 
I'm gonna hit the off button and maybe I'll unwind a little bit first. See if uh, someone's up for that. And um, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you around and we'll definitely continue working on the track at some point. Probably gonna continue working on this track at some point also and we're gonna work on other tracks also at some point. And also the collaboration track with VaultKit. Um, so um, yeah, lots of stuff. Uh, I will also find the time to upload my streams to YouTube at some point. So um, whenever that happens, I'll put a link somewhere in my tab below so that you can watch streams afterwards if you like, since a couple of people asked me. So thanks for hanging out. It was fun. Makes it a lot easier to stay inside if you're not as isolated as you would be all on your own in the studio. And I really appreciate you watching. See you next time. Bye.